Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading my early 2015 MacBook Pro Retina to Big Sur. So I've upgraded this MacBook Pro with an NVMe SSD drive, and I'll put a link in the description to my Mac playlist where you can find a video on that. So I don't know exactly what to expect in this process, so I'm recording the screen of my laptop with a GoPro, and I'm also capturing the screen with an Elgato game capture. So I may combine those two sources together for the final video, if you notice that the quality is changing in the video. I'm also upgrading from Catalina. If you're upgrading from an older system, there may be more steps than what I'm doing here. So before we start the install, you want to make sure you have a current backup. So I have Time Machine running. It's set up to be in my menu here. So I'll open up Time Machine Preferences and this is in the system preferences. If you don't have it in your menu, you can check this little box here that says show time machine in menu bar. And I can see here that my latest backup was today at 5.13. So I'll close this down. And if you haven't restarted your computer in a long time, I would recommend restarting before starting the upgrade process. And I closed out Time Machine, but I actually want to go into my system preferences again. So you can see on my dock here, we have a little number next to system preferences. So that's a notification for the upgrade. So I'll click on that. I'll go to Software Update. I'll click that. And here it says Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1, 12.18 gigabytes. Now, I don't know if this is downloaded yet. If I click on Advanced down at the bottom here, I have this set up to download new updates when available. So I have Install Mac OS Updates unchecked, and I also have Install App Updates from the App Store unchecked. So this may already be downloaded. We'll find out in just a minute. So I'll hit OK. I can hit More Info here. I can show the other updates that are pending. We have Pro Video Formats and Safari. So I'll close this. And earlier today, I went to my app store and I upgraded all my software. I had like Final Cut, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Pages, Numbers, things like that had updates. And you could update those before or after you do Big Sur update. So I have everything backed up. I have restarted the machine and now I'll hit Upgrade Now. So I have multiple Macs to use. So if your Mac is your primary Mac that you use for making money, it may not be a great idea to upgrade right away. You may want to wait and see if anything breaks on other people's computers before you upgrade. Like me, I'm doing this as an example. If anything screws up on this computer, I can use one of my other Macs to do my work. So it says downloading Big Sur. So it wasn't downloaded already. I wasn't sure about that. And it says it's going to download 12.18 gigabytes and it's going to take about two hours. And now it dropped down to one hour. So I'll probably let this go. I'll let it download and I'll come back when it's done and I'll hit the button to upgrade. So I don't want this to go to sleep. So if I click on this little menu up here for show all and you go into desktop and screensaver, you can click down here at the bottom right to hot corners. And I have this bottom right to disable screensaver. So if I drag my mouse to that bottom right hand corner, it will keep the screensaver from going on. You could change your energy settings under the light bulb here and say don't go to sleep, but I like using the hot corner because I can just turn that on for specific instances and otherwise it goes to sleep as normal. So I'll go back into software update, I'll drag my mouse to the bottom right, and then we'll come back after this is done downloading. Okay, so Big Sur is downloaded, and that took around 50 minutes, probably a little less. And I have a 40 megabit connection, and I don't know how much of the connection it was using. So I'll hit continue here. I'll read through the whole license agreement. Yeah, lots of good stuff in there. I'll hit agree. I'll hit agree again. It says Mac OS Big Sur will be installed on the disk Mac OS. I'll hit continue. It's going to ask for my password, so I'll type that in. So it looks like it started the install. It says there's about 15 minutes remaining. Okay, I'm at the login screen now, so I'll click on my profile and type in my password. Okay, I'm at the login screen again, so I'll log in here. Okay, we have a login screen, but it looks different this time.
Okay, I brought up a screen with accessibility features and I don't have any special accessibility needs right now, so I'll just hit not now. It's asking if I want to share analytics with Apple and I don't, so I won't check that. I'll hit continue. It's asking if I want to enable Ask Siri and I don't want to enable that, so I'll turn that off. I'll hit continue. Okay, we're booted up. It says there was a problem connecting to my server. That happens sometimes when I first reboot. It's like the server tries to connect up before the network connects. So I'll hit OK there. It looks like it didn't do the install for the Pro video formats yet, so I'll hit install now on that. That shouldn't take too long, I don't think. I think that's already done. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the install is complete. And I forgot to mention earlier that I am running File Vault on this system. So I'll close this. I'll go up to the little Apple symbol here. I'll go to About This Mac. And here we go. We're running Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1. So I think most of the software will work on this, but I'm guessing that Mac Quartz isn't going to work, and that's software you can use on the command line to install software. I'll open up a terminal here and see if it's working. And it is not working right now. So I expected Mac ports wasn't going to be ready. So I'll probably do a future video on that when I get that up and running on Big Sur. Otherwise, I'm not expecting any other software issues. So once you get up and running, you probably want to go through your most important applications and open them up and make sure they're all working properly. And if they're not working, you can do some searches online. Since this is so new, you may not find much help online yet. And you may just need to hold tight until a fix is released. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.